Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Tuesday, which obviously means two for Tuesday. This fantabulous tag started by Tom over at Knife Delights, so make sure you go give them a check out. So the knives I'm looking at today, they are both Cattleman patterns from Rough Rider. So we have the Highland series and the classic Cinnamon Bone Stag. So we'll start with the Highland series to start. So this is the Rough Rider example of the Cattleman. It's a two-bladed jackknife, so both the blades come out of one end. Excellent fit and finish on this one. No gap in to speak of at all. It's got this lovely black, I think it's black micarta with red G10 under liners. The nickel silver bolsters and pins, all flush. Lovely reverse R shield just here with flush everything on the front. It does have that uh, bolster. Not a massive fan, but it doesn't stop me buying the, the Rough Riders because I think the quality of the knife outweighs this little tiny detail. And then we have the blades here. You can see slightly off-centred with the, the long pen blade, but the clip point is dead centre. Another overview of the back spring. So you can see I've got a bit of a polish, but you can see there's no gap in to speak of at all there. So here is the pen blade, nice little snap on that. Reverse our tang stamp. Nice grind on these as well. And this one is in 440A steel. It's a snap on the pen blade. And then the clip point. Lovely clip point on this. Match strike long pull. Reverse our tang stamp. And then you can just see the blade steel just here, so it's the 440 razor sharp steel. Excellent pattern. One of my favourite patterns, I think, is this Cattleman from Rough Rider. It's like the, the comparison between, obviously, you've got the big clip blade and then the little tiny pen blade. You know, it's multi-use. You can use it for anything, really. Lovely swedging on the top. And then the action of the clip blade to the half stop. And then a nice slap down into the closed position. Now this one does have a little bit of an issue, I don't know if you can see that in there. The tip of the pen blade is just sticking up a little bit, so it does make it a little difficult to get to the to get to the clip blade, but you can get your sort of your nail in at a 45 degrees and you can grab it no problem really. It's more of an inconvenience than a problem I would say. And again, nice little overview of this knife. Had a fair bit of carry time for me. I do enjoy this one. One thing I will note as well. It's over the three inch blade total blade length for the UK. The cutting edge is under three, but the total blade length is over three. I mean, I carry this and I wouldn't worry about carrying it because that's myself and in my area. I'm in quite a rural area and there's not much police around and things like that, but obviously you make your own judgments. I'm not a lawyer, but it just let you know that the whole blade length is over three inches. So there we go. There is the the Highland series Cattleman and this is a new release by Rough Rider this is the classic cinnamon bone stag and this has the carbon steel blades uh, you can see on the back there excellent fit and finish tiniest of little gaps about here but you know nothing to worry me for a budget knife no R stamp you have this lovely imitation stag bone it's like burnt for the colours and then they dye the, the ridging all in here and the same on the reverse. Previous ones of these have had the die sort of like wears off when you rub your finger on it, but as you can see these ones, there's nothing seems to be coming off, so they seem to have improved that, which is good. And then we have an aerial view here. You can see the blades are this one's nicely centered again, a little bit off center for the for the pen blade, but nothing's gonna affect the knife. Let's try and get a close up on that bone stag. You can see the depth of the ridges. And then again here, everything is nice, flush, smooth as you'd expect. This pin here a little bit raised, and this one, but that's to be expected due to you know the nature of the handle material. But nothing, not sharp. They've obviously smoothed it over all nicely. And here we have the pen blade, nice long pen blade again. This time with the Rough Rider script tang stamp. Get on my finger gunk off there. Lovely pen blade. 
lovely action as well and then we have the clip blade the script tang stamp and on the rear you'll see there we have let me just rub off the oil you have carbon steel and then the model number which is see if i can get that to focus rr2430 but this is another favorite for me excellent walk and talk excellent fit and finish same with the blade of this one as well cutting edge is less than three but the whole blade length you know from here to the end is over three inches i would carry this but you make your own judgment based on your area and you know the, the rules in your area but overall i think these are two fantastic knives so again we have the cattleman which is the two three eight zero it's hard to see it sort of rubbed off on there and then the cinnamon bone stag which is two four three zero i highly recommend both of these knives to anyone that's interested in the cattleman pattern they they are staying in my collection they both are firm favorites for me so i hope you guys enjoyed my open tag be sure to give me a like follow and ring that bell to be notified of new videos once again, thanks to Tom for suggesting this open tag. It's fantastic. Hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye.